Uh, check post about breastfeeding statement from Twitch. Wait, check post from about a breastfeeding statement? Let's see Twitch's comment on breastfeeding. This is actually very important to me. Um, okay. Let's see. Where is it? It's on that girl's Twitter. Wait a second. Okay, she screenshot an email. What's the girl's name? Like, I, I don't know about, like, refreshing my homepage, but we're going to take a risk here. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, okay, let's see here. Oh, wait, we got it. We got it. We found it, guys. Here we go. We did it. Oh, boy. Here we go. Uh, streamer sparks debate uh, over whether, uh, what do you call it, Twitch should allow breastfeeding or not. Okay, let's see here. Um, let's see, we did it, we did it. Yeah, 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 okay. TOS, well, wait a minute, How, how's that TOS? Wait, if they're allowing it, and I accidentally just showed it, looks like we're good. I, I mean, it, it, no, circular logic, it looks like we're good. Everything's fine. I'm not gonna do it again. That was a mistake, sorry guys. Didn't mean to show that. But um, yeah, it, it, like logically, it seems like I shouldn't get in trouble for that, right? Okay, uh, just a second here. Uh, it's nearest parts debate over Twitch to allow breastfeeding. Uh, we did it! Twitch just confirmed what we were saying all along. Breastfeeding is not sexual and it is not against TOS. Moral of the story, never back down. All right, hi, Heather. I apologize for the delay in response. The safety ops team responded to reports of adult nudity in this case, and there was a brief moment under question, so the clip was removed. At that time, it was a difficult position for the safety ops admin to be put in during a review of an incident that has not previously occurred on Twitch. I hope there is some understanding in that regard. After further discussions between partnership, safety ops, and trust and safety, there is an, uh, an alignment between all teams that breastfeeding is not and will not be against the TOS. Um, as you so eloquently put it, breastfeeding is not lewd. And we agree with you. Twitch community guidelines will need to be updated to provide a level of transparency, which will take time, uh, but I can assure it's on the agenda. I hope this clears your mind of concern. You did nothing wrong. Very nice. Very nice. That makes sense. Yeah. So, um, so here's, I mean, I'm, I'm, this is, this is amazing. This is truly amazing. Uh, yep. I, I mean, all good. the, the steps all being, good. the steps being taken for the empowerment of, uh, uh, of women on this platform are just, uh, they're boundless. It's, it's incredible. Okay. Um, what about the breastfeeding fetishes? I mean, like, I don't think you shouldn't be able to show your feet because there's people that are feet fetishists, right? I mean, like, I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, it, it's kind of a weird thing. Like, I, I just listen. Like, to be honest, there are a lot of things that I say I don't care about that I do care about. I really don't care about this issue. I, I, I don't care about it. Like, this doesn't affect me at all. It, it doesn't matter to me. It has nothing to do with me. I'm not worried about it. It doesn't matter. Breastfeeding on stream, just turn the camera off while you do it. Twitch is a streaming service for gaming, what the fuck? I think saying that streaming, uh, saying that Twitch is a gaming service, or is a service for gaming is really reductive. Uh, I mean, people, like, why, why should you limit yourself to gaming? Why shouldn't you try to approach different types of content and do different kinds of things? Like, why is it that gaming is so highly held and prestige, whereas other types of content aren't? I, I think that Twitch should be a live streaming platform, and there shouldn't be anyone trying to gatekeep what other people are able to do or not do on the platform. That's the way that I look at it. Uh, I don't think that it should be a gaming platform. I think that's reductive, and it's also constraining, and it limits the growth that the website could potentially have, and it holds people back from seeing the real great types of content that people can create with live streaming. Uh, I, I don't want to just see, like, gaming forever. I, I want to see something more than that. Uh, I, I don't know why there's, like, such a, 
a focus on like gaming like why is gaming so fundamentally great and doing other things isn't i i don't know i, I just i feel like it's very odd to me uh if you were to say it whenever they see something they don't like on twitch yeah i, I don't agree with that at all I, I think that twitch should be for all kinds of different types of live streaming not just gaming uh i, I want to see twitch be for you know like you know, watching movies together with like the Twitch chat. I want to see it for, you know, like talk shows like Raj's show. I want to see it for, you know, like fucking like workout streams. Like what, why, wh wh it's like, imagine like if YouTube was like, oh, well, we're only for gaming. So we don't want to do anything else besides gaming. Like where would YouTube be? It wouldn't be anywhere. Uh, I feel like that would be very, very bad for the platform. Uh, I think it's always a really bad idea for you to define yourself by a niche audience. Uh, it's always a better idea to kind of go out and, and try to do other things and, you know, bring different types of content to the platform and see what the people really like rather than allowing. Uh, it, it's like basically it's the amount of uh, it's pretty much like the free market. I, I mean, Twitch is always going to be primarily a gaming website. But at the same time, if people want to do something else besides that, if somebody wants to go out and build a snowman or something like that, uh, I don't think there's anybody that's going to be like, oh, well, this is a gaming website. You shouldn't be able to do that. Why? Well, wh why say that? I, I don't know. Uh, the guy said gaming is a niche. Uh, listen, man, let me tell you something about gaming being a niche. So, I didn't know this, but there's like hundreds of different channels just for talking about makeup on YouTube. I had no fucking idea, but my, my girlfriend and like all of her friends were sitting here watching a 45 minute video of this girl just fucking talking shit about James Charles. And you guys might not even know who James Charles is. Well, he's a big fucking deal, right? The point that I'm making here is that if Twitch wants to grow as a platform, if you want to have more people on this website, if you want to make it a bigger platform overall, the makeup tea, yeah, it's insane. It's fucking insane. So, so anyway, so, so she spends 45 minutes watching another girl talk about a dude that puts on fucking makeup and, and and they sat there and they were watching about pausing it talking about it it was like a react video it was insane so I, i'm going i'm sitting there right and i i don't even know what the fuck to say about this and i'm i'm watching this whole fucking show and i watched the whole thing by the way like i it's not like oh i'm better than this and i don't watch it no i i i watched the whole thing and um Man, James Charles seems like a fucking dick. And then so James Charles come back, apparently, and he's like, no, I'm not a dick, she's a bitch. And and then suddenly everything turns around. And then some other dude gets involved. I, I was like, Jeffree Star. And now it's like, it's a big fucking deal. And I don't even know anything about this. I didn't, I didn't know this, I didn't know that. It's like, what the hell is this? Fully cut, well, how's this, wait, wait a minute, what is this cuck? Like, no, what do you think, she like forced me to watch it? No, I watched it because I was interested. I watched it because it had 50 million something like that views. It had 50 million views and I didn't know who any of these people were. I, I think that whenever you live in your own little bubble, you don't realize that there are other people that live in their own bubbles and their bubbles are actually pretty damn big. And I, I don't think that it's, uh, I think it's very reductive to say that, you know, like gaming is the only type of online content that people want to want to consume. Like, why would Twitch limit themselves artificially to only allowing certain types of content on their stream? And I'm not saying they should allow hardcore porn, right? But overall, I think that there are a lot of things that they probably should allow. And uh, I think that would make the website better in general. I think that uh, Twitch shouldn't be known as a gaming website. It should be known as a live stream website. It's better for everybody. And I think that it also brings in a bigger audience and it makes the entire website better. Uh, that's my opinion. Do you think Twitch will do more to support popular content creators? Yeah, of course. I mean, this is always an issue that every uh, every company runs into, right? Where they always they're so focused on trying to make the the top of the top like better and like promoting them uh, that a lot of the people that aren't at the top kind of get. No, nah, I wouldn't really say stepped on. I think that's a little bit too uh, too much. But uh, you know, they get a little bit left behind, right? It's very hard to. Uh, to, to establish yourself and to grow if you're not already established, right? It's kind of like a snowball effect where like if you already have a lot of viewers or something like that, it's very easy for you to just keep doing that and like get even more viewers, etc. So uh, I do think that is an issue that obviously like Twitch and all these other platforms have to deal with. But overall, it's not something that you can really worry about or, you know, concern yourself about. Uh, has grossing YouTube opens toys and plays with them. Look up Ryan's toys videos. Uh, yeah, I know. 
Uh, that's exactly what I'm saying. Uh, is that there are plenty of people in Ninja's income in the last three months. Who, I, I don't, I don't care. Um, but the point is that like, there are plenty of other types of content and like you and like content on like Twitch and these other places, uh, or YouTube, excuse me. Um, that's much beyond gaming. And I, I don't think that it's a good idea to say that Twitch should just be a gaming platform. Uh, I, I think it's a very, very bad idea. And it's also like, it's a form of gatekeeping. I don't think anybody should be gatekeeping what's allowed on Twitch besides Twitch. Uh, be, Twitch is a business. Any business that limits themselves uh, from diversification will go extinct. Uh, I don't really know about any business, right? I think it's important to have like a core audience, right? And I think that Twitch will always be like primarily a gaming website, but that doesn't mean that it has to only be a gaming website. I think that's the only point that I'm really trying to make. And uh, I, I don't like the gatekeeping that people have for like saying people like, oh, what's allowed and not allowed on Twitch. Uh, if you want to make content that people want to watch it, I think the free market should decide. Uh, that's the way that I, I think that, uh, that they should decide of, you know, what's allowed and not allowed on Twitch is based off of what people do and don't want to see. That's what matters. So the difference between like sports channels and, um, and Twitch, for example, is that sports channels are, uh, it's programmed content. So like if you look on like a sports channel and you look at 7 p.m., uh, there's going to be like this thing is going to be on. Whereas if you look at like Twitch, it's on-demand content that anyone can create at any time. So there isn't the same opportunity cost of making an esports tournament in place of a football show or something like that. So it's a completely different paradigm, even if you want to try to call that out as being hypocrisy. It's just, it, you just don't understand it. Okay, of course ESPN can regulate the program content, but you're framing it as the audience gatekeeping? Well, no, I think that like a, a certain... Mm. No, no, that's not how, it's not how it works. That's not how, it, it's not how it works. Like, oh my god. That's completely different. It's the difference between an audience of one specific Twitch channel giving their input of what they want to see during the stream versus people saying what's allowed to be on the entire website. There's an opportunity cost for having something on ESPN because you have to have that on ESPN in the place of something else. On Twitch, there's no opportunity cost because there's no scarcity of time. It just doesn't work that way, okay? It's completely different. All right, I want to do more like outside of gaming content too. Like I, I enjoy that. Uh, it's fun, like the gardening streams, etc. Right? Like, why would you want not want to have gardening streams on stream? Right? I mean, like breastfeeding streams, like. I don't know, I, I don't, if you have a, a stream dedicated to breastfeeding, I, I don't know, it seems like it's a little bit much, but, you know, if you just do it on stream, I don't really give a fuck, man. I, 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 just, I guess I just don't really care.